Hello, just like to quickly show you how to add a Arduino boost gauge into your gauge cluster. Uh, so this I've inserted right into the gauge cluster of a Volvo 740. Um, and it's just a small 128 by 32 screen. You can get fancier, larger screens. I should also say that there's lots of videos on YouTube with uh, nicer screens and so on. So you can kind of improve it to your heart's content. In my case, I've set it up with a sort of welcome screen as well. Sort of a gimmicky thing, but if I press the reset button here, you'll see it comes up with 740 servo to begin with. And then we get a small vacuum reading just because of the way that the sensor is calibrated for the time being. And you can see that this small screen is, is easy to read for what it is. And being OLED, it's very high contrast. I'm going to show you what parts you need to make this, but uh, I won't be going through all the, the coding. It's a bit too much detail. I'll happily send the coding to anyone who asks in the comments. Okay, so I've only just started learning how to use Arduino and do a bit of programming myself. So this is a really good project to start with. And it's really cheap as well. So I'll link these parts below and give you some descriptions. Um, you're going to need Arduino Uno or Nano. Uh, careful of knockoff boards. Um, normally you can get knockoff boards to work. Um, by just downloading a driver, but this one gave me some issues. Um, gonna need an OLED screen, that's a 128 by 32 screen, and a uh, pressure sensor, so this is a MPX5700 AP sensor. Um, you'll have to look up the pinout of this online, uh, but that's easy to find. Whereas the screen has writing on the back for what pins do what, so that's easy. Um, but for the wiring, I'll also put some pictures in uh, to make it a bit clearer. Uh, basically, the screen has got a 3.3 volt source on the board. It's got ground, and then there's two analog wires there. Um, pressure sensor's got one analog wire, ground, and a 5 volt source. So, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. I can press reset on the board here and show you what it does when you first turn the key. Comes up with 740 turbo, which I just did as a little fun addition. And uh, and then you get either a negative or a positive number for vacuum or boost. And there's an up rate, uh, update rate there, uh, which you can set to your own choosing. It's pretty fast at the moment. And uh, something else I forgot about. You need a 12 to 5 volt DC converter because the VN pin on the Arduino board uh, it doesn't like sustained voltage above 12 volts. It probably wouldn't be a problem, but since cars run above that, about 13 to 14 volts, it's a good idea just to protect the board from spikes. 